All right, first off, welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Hey, the support on this series so far has been amazing. Hope you like the longer videos as well. I felt like for a cutscene heavy game like this, it kind of just makes more sense this way, you know? Because there's a lot going on. But yeah, if you want more each day, just keep it up. All the likes greatly appreciated. I love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Drop a nice steak, gift for your wife. Sausage, ah. all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Curatives, restoratives. Look all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort! Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. We don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any 
projections. It's him. The outlaw. Sit here. All right, let me just take a minute, just gather my thoughts, because there's so much that happened in like the last 10 or 15 minutes of cutscenes that I just, I'm just trying to take it all in. So we had the big boss fight, and we saw Ultima, and Joshua showed up, which who is now called Joshua, which I kind of had a feeling it was him. It looked a lot like him, just older. Uh, it's five years later now. We had Sid's death, but Sid gave Rama to Clive. Clive is now being called Sid. And I'm sure it's Rama, not Ramu. I've seen both online. Ramu sounds... Doesn't sound correct to me, so I'm gonna go Rama. Plus, I remember that summon from other Final Fantasies. But yeah, it's just so much going on. All right, let's keep it going. Here we go. You can target him? Oh, that's Sid sick. All right, here it goes. Ah! I don't know why... Okay, yeah, this is... So what is the... <laughs> Just keeps you shocked, I guess. I don't know. This is so nice. Might be enough. There we go. I like that it's purple as well. Okay. We have Titans Jill with us. Yeah, I think the combat overall, I'm not sure if we're getting more than these three, but. This is really nice. I'm assuming we're going to get others, but... Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! They brought a pet. Oh no. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Assassin's Creed vibes whenever he was walking through the town area. Stagger. Perfect timing. Let's go. I feel bad for the uh, Panther. <laughs> I mean, it's always funny how, like, they don't want to fight. Let's get the, uh, the animal to fight for us. But the animal's like innocent, you know? He's trained. Ow. At this point, I'm just dodging. Not a full meter, but... Let's go. But every time I pop the limit break, it's like a stagger just randomly just happens. It's over. 
There's a lot going on in the combat now. 8.40? Wait, what? That seems a little like... Was that because of everything beforehand as well? I don't know. That <laughs> seems like it's all mixed together. Lightning shard, okay. Meteorites. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mobbed now. Ah! <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Alright, so there was a lot of fighting, and it's been a while since we've been back there. I don't know if we're... Oh, we can go back to the hideaway. Okay. Because it showed it in the cutscene like it was... Not really under attack? Maybe it kind of was. I don't know. But it's five years later now, so... Maybe it's safe. That night five years ago... We destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And... I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home.
All right, home, sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Welcome back, Sid. It's kind of odd how they called me Sid, but I'm pretty sure they've seen Sid before, right? Or am I just crazy? <laughs> I'm maybe not really sure how this whole thing works, but that's at least what I'm gathering from it. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. I'm glad this area changed because when I saw it under attack in the, uh, like the 15 minute cutscene or whatever we watched, I was wondering what was going to happen. Alright, speak with Otto. Are suspended. Ah, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would Lud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekois boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, 
Dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. I like how Vivian gave us the rundown on basically everything that's transpired. I like this setup a little bit more, even though obviously it's rough. <laughs> uh, it's just a cool area now. The other one was kind of dark and dreary, I feel like. Where's the, hold on, where's the shop vendor at? Where's, the, hold on, what we got? You know what, it really does, oh, up here, okay. Yeah, before we go anywhere, we're gonna upgrade, buy potions, whatever we need. Which, I don't know if we actually need to buy any more of those right now. Been such a great game so far. I really like it a lot. Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. All right, here we go. Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kufo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it, Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav yeah, will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Return to your chambers. How about... We don't. How about we go uh, visit some shops really quick. Alright, where's all the stuff in relation... Uh-oh, cutscene. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest.
Here we go. Have a worthy of a letter. Is there anything new on this stone thing? Let's see. Besides training, we got the Hall of Virtues. So I wonder if you get anything for this. We did it once, and I was like, it's cool if you want to practice. But if I was going to practice... Hold on, let's see. Score based on performance. Okay. Restrictions on level, gear, consumables are applied. Gameplay mode will be default. The action focus which is what I actually already play on, so... Alright, before we talk to her, let me see what I can craft because I always do it the other way around. Use the forge. Oh, sure. Let's see. Here we go. That's what I wanted to see right there. Lightning shard, flame to Okay. Here we go. No scratches, right? Nothing else really. Reinforce, hold on. Wait, can I reinforce the no? Wait a minute. If you told me you could fire a forge without a crystal or a bearer before I came here, I'd have taken you for a madman. But no, here it is. The secret's in the bellows, you know. They're Master Sid's own design. Uh, the other Master Sid. Okay. Wait. <laughs> hey, like the interactive same. Wait, hold on. Why, why is there even a jump button in this area? Look at that. Look at that height. For no reason at all. Is it business or pleasure? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Uh... Okay, hold on. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I want to invest too much. I don't know. So, a lot of these accessories just help you with combat, it seems like, but that's a lot of gill. So, in taking damage, 6%, uh, limit break generation amount, okay. When dealing damage, okay. So, that would actually be good if you want to keep reusing it over and over and over without any kind of, like, downtime. Which, I mean, 3%'s not that much, but if it's per hit, then it, in fact, would be. Hold on. I'm not spending any money on that until, like, the end game. We got our first elixir. Interesting. Normally, I'd buy it, but for 10,000 gil, I think I'm good. Let me see if I can sell anything. What's funny is I just got this sword. I really, like, thought it was going to be worth something, but I'm going to go ahead and sell it. You got out else? I want to keep, like, one thing I may not ever sell are the accessories. Unless I have more than one, you know? Alright, so Flames of Rebirth. I'm not sure. Uh, I thought about putting that on. I'm going to make some changes before we get back in combat again. Okay. A lot of stuff here. Come okay. Again. Oh, don't. And what can I do Let me just see you? one more thing before we roll. Um, okay. Okay. Charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Interesting. So you can hold it down, which, I mean, the magic doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna just save my gill for now. Finished, are you? I don't know. Perhaps I should just have to play. One thing I do want to check, though, is... Alright, let's do gear and... I call it icons. I don't know what the actual name is. Okay. I'm gonna take this off because it seems kind of pointless. Hold on, let me look at the system really quick. We're gonna have a new little spot that it's going all the way around so okay i'm assuming there's gonna be six of these so you got the phoenix now you got this one now you got the uh rama oh let's see judgment bolt Yeet. <laughs> just throws it i almost have enough for this here's what i want to do i'm gonna keep yeah flames of rebirth i think i may wear that cooldown accessory just because i feel like it does take quite a while. Hmm. There's always, like, the middle one for each of these. It always costs, like, nothing. But you can't really... You have to replace these other ones to actually use it, which I don't know why you would do that. Unless you can just use these without... actually having to do anything? I don't know. Anyways, here we go. Let's change out this one, because... 
Yeah, the pet commands thing is cool, but I'd rather just have this other stuff. Okay. Push. Okay, the attack by seven? I'm kind of wondering, do I want to do that or... Hmm. Is there anything else I could really... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I'll do it this way. Eventually, we'll get one that probably is a higher rarity for potions or maybe a purple one that's for attack. Badge of Might number two or whatever. I don't know. Um, all right. I think I'm good. Once the hole swept, it's over to the tavern crown. We got a, hold on, is this like a chest or something? Oh, wait, Wall of Memories? What? I only got one thing, okay. I'm assuming this place will be here for the rest of the game. All right, here we go. All right, the reading table. Always check here, okay. The Republic's play. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. Look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To sit.
and so the North is lost. I knew that the Blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? A moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. All right, the gathering storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? Kind of wondering, like, what's next as far as... Well, well, here's one thing I will say. How will we know <laughs> if the attributes and stuff... We got the abilities. I think there's going to be six of these. Because it looks like there's exactly enough space for, like, three more. But when I look at this screen, I'm kind of like, maybe there's a second tab that's going to pop up here. I would imagine you can only equip three at a time. That's my guess, but I don't really know. I've had a lot of fun with this game. Every time I play it, I never get enough time with it, I feel like. And that's rare, because... I don't know. Maybe it's just such a great story to me. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire has been tightening its grip round the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Are we got nearby quests, which... I don't know. I don't think that I'll do that one. All right, find the curse breakers. And how may I assist you today? Be the state of the realm. All right, I think I'm good. I could ask about these, but I don't think it's gonna really matter. Don't let me. We we'll just be here for a long time. All right, here goes. Where is it gonna take us? Martha's Rest. All right, here we go. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Stop staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be nearby. Come. Let's get you to a physical. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials descended like a storm. 
No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. All right, pursue the garrison soldiers. We got right. a few things here, actually. Brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Apparently, a lot of people don't have the trophy for petting. <laughs> I don't know why. It's such an easy thing to do. If there is one. Apparently, you can see like, how many percentage of people actually did it. I feel like this actually might be the best. Well, does it do anything other than just... I still think my favorite of the bunch is the Phoenix. It just seems so strong for what it is. That's got some that's some good range, okay. Good to know. You know, I've always thought about leveling up when I'm not recording, but it just doesn't really seem like it's necessary. Uh oh. Martha, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosalia. They fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Not sure if I want to fight all these hornets, but pretty easy XP, I feel like. I do a lot of research and like rewatch some of the cutscenes when I edit everything. I feel like I missed a few things. I will not attack, I promise. I sure has been playing for a little over two hours. That's crazy. I didn't even know it. Uh oh, hold on. Hello? Which damage? That does so much. Oh my goodness. This is such a waste. It really is, but it's all good. Wait, there's more? There we go. I was like, I gotta be able to like reach that. Alright, 40 XP, I'll take it. I was gonna get this item back here. 
I hope it's not a potion. That seems like it'd be a waste of time if it is. Alright, we got some crafting materials. I'll take it. We're out of here. Let's save our limit break as well in case we actually need it. Are we too late? Looks like there we're too late. Be someone inside. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. A pretty small area. I just realized that. Let me just let me just go ahead and use the limit break. Because why not? Looks like all the enemies are always the same level as me, level 24. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I still miss having the auto attack. Very nice. These enemies are pretty tanky. Ah! Ability finish. I wonder if you get like more XP for that. I don't think you do, but 40 for that. Nice. And we got some more crafting. Okay. Is that all of them? I think so. That was a pretty short quest. 250 XP. Nice. And we got this. Anytime we get accessories, I'm all for it. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Hold on, search the... Okay. You gotta be in here, right? Thunder. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only. That were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha. To beg his aid and tell her this 
wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bears, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. All right, what does this say? Make for Redox, okay, jump. Here's what I was gonna say. One thing I got confused about a little bit over the last maybe like, or ever since the five years later thing, I didn't realize that Clive had, here's what I read online, because I was like confused about why everybody's calling him Sid when they've seen him before, but it's, I guess it's because he goes by Sid the Outlaw now, following his acquisition of Rama's uh, power. Clive has taken the name of his former mentor and devoted his life to seeing... Okay, the dream fulfilled. That makes sense. Now I can kind of see it. It's just odd because he ran into characters before... And I don't know if he ever introduced himself. Maybe... I, I really don't know. Kind of just absorbing everything. When I go edit everything, I'll usually rewatch the cutscenes. And I'm like, oh, that's what happened. Okay. Well, I'm trying to just chill. But I guess if we're going to fight, let's go ahead and do this. That does so much damage. There we go. 40 XP, extremely easy. All right. Wish I could walk through the water right there, but I guess not. All right, let's check the map really quick. All right, we're going back around this way. I think I'll go here and I was gonna take a break pretty soon, but I don't really know when to stop it. I play for just a little bit longer. This is one of those imps, isn't it? Wait, what? What is this? Oh, it's a bounty. That's a classic soundtrack. I love it. Notorious marks. Okay. Level 25, wait a minute. Uh oh, this might be kind of tough. Of course it has. It's a This might be a little, little tougher than I thought. We'll see what happens, I guess. Why is the camera so far away? What's going on? Five potion. Taking a lot of damage, I realize. Me, boy. Oh, 
Might be a waste, but here we go. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Getting better. Wait, Doom. Oh, no. I can't see! Wait, what? You just gonna fly away like that? Oh my, wait a minute. It resets? No way. That's actually wild. I barely like walk. I don't know, I find that insane. I was doing actually pretty well. There we go. Big damage time. Big damage. Here's what's crazy. I would have finished the fight already, I think. What just happened? Oh, it's an instant kill? I did not know that. All right, here it goes. I'll just like stay a little bit back as much as I can. This might be too far away. Nope, I think we're good. Too far away. All right, Doom. Hold on, I'm just gonna back up. So this gets me no matter what. This thing that instantly kills you, I think. That's how I died last time, at least. You gotta be kidding me, come on. Big damage, big damage. Here we go. It's not a hard fight by any means. All right, Doom again. Same thing as last time. Stay back. You gotta be kidding. Yo, the little like charge up did a lot of damage there too. All right, do him again. right now is not actually losing the fight but getting too far out of the way where it ends it or whatever you know there we go notorious mark slain okay how much xp 200 you get a lot of gill wow he didn't see that coming no item on the ground okay all right, let me just go here, at least practice dialogue, cutscene, whatever it's going to be, and then probably take a quick break. I'm playing for about 220 right now. That must be the bridge.
All right, three sharp things. Let's go. Hey, what? Scatter the remains. Here we go. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. I return to Martha's rest. Might as well just do that really quick. Wait, couldn't I just fast travel there? Let's just do that. This might end the actual quest if I go here and interact. Let's see. Because that was like the overall thing called the Gathering Storm. All right. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh. Before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse-breakers. All right, quest complete. A good stopping point right there. All right, 50 XP. We got over 40,000 gil. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here now. Thank you all for watching. It means lots of y'all's support. Greatly appreciated. Turn to the hideaway. We'll do that when we come back next time. But for now, this is it. Love you all. And I'll catch you very, very soon. Possibly the next day. All right, take it easy.